everybody. Welcome to 54 Nights RV. Today we're taking a look at the 2019 Tiffin Allegro 36 UA. This is a Class A motorhome. Oh, what do we got? 26,000 pound chassis, 70 gallon fresh tank, 50 gallon black tank, 66 gallon gray tank. And it's 38 foot long. This is a long one for a gas coach. I like the color of it. 155,000 is what they were asking for at this show. Wide open. And it, it just feels nice. And it's just a wide open floor. Mm -hmm. Toddlers can run around in front of you and make it difficult for you to trip them. <laughs> you can get a different configuration, get a dinette. Yeah, you can get the booth or you can go with the, the freestanding chairs. It is a dog door or and dog little, window, I mean. Little doggy window. Nice flat dash as far as the top of it. Um, the layout is pretty nice. I like the leveling controllers there being on the right hand side. So you don't have to be in the driver's seat to access them. If you thought you were going to open that and get some storage, you were wrong. Nope. <laughs> you a little bit of storage here on the side. Got roll-up blinds for the sides. No bed in that one. This was a little bit of tomfoolery here. Because you think because of that board coming down the side there, it helps block... Um, that window. That window, but it doesn't. But no, it, if you're running around naked, everybody outside can see you if they get if they stand just right. Yeah, <laughs> it's the, those those roll ups are too far away from the wall. To, mm -hmm. um, Which see. you could put some. You could you could work yeah, around that, on that. Yeah, and, but you shouldn't have to work around. Right? It. No, you shouldn't. Or you could just put on a show and just give it up. I will put on a show. <laughs> you don't have this camper. No. Darn. <laughs> you guys are going to miss out. <laughs> a little slide out cupboard right beside that convection microwave oven. Love those Tiffin windows behind the. Yes, a nice big old long window that Tiffin started doing a year or so back. Not a whole lot of workspace, but there is some additional workspace Does there on the left hand out? side of the stove. Does it slide out above the drawers? No, I don't think so. Okay. What is that above the drawers? Just countertop. That's just, I guess it's just the design? Yep. But it is a little bit of extra workspace. Um, Unfortunately, you don't have all the storage because there's papers in there. <laughs> you can take the papers out, sweetheart. Oh, cool. A lot of storage under the sink. And the window with a touch of the button opens. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. No, she can't figure out how to operate it. All that touch screen stuff, it's... It's beyond me, sorry. Yeah. Now, I like the way Tiffin does this setup because it is a dining area or an office space and or both. Mm -hmm. um, you've got file cabinet. You've yeah, got... there's a slide out tray here in this cabinet. So if you've got a big old printer you want to sit there, you can just slide that. Yeah. This is really nice. Yeah, I, I, it, it makes a great workstation combined with the place to eat at. You know, there's the file cabinet file storage area. I like it. I, I really do. I just... mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that work out of their campers that, yeah. would, that would benefit. This is a bunk model. This you can get, and that might be it, you can get an air cool, um, it's an option, an air cool couch, whatever that is. Air coiled? I don't know. I thought it said cool, but maybe you're right. Does, does that make sense? Or I don't know. know. None of it makes sense to me. Neither one of it. <laughs> I think you're just seeing things. Maybe you can 
edit and add what it actually is. Or maybe I can't and I'll just make you look silly. No, you didn't. I made me look silly. <laughs> Windows on either side of the bed would really a good deal. Open up both those windows, get some air flowing through there on a nice fall night. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to go camping. Yeah. Or you can hear the elk, you know, coyotes if yeah, you're out. I want to go camping in Colorado. <laughs> yeah. I believe you could. Get, I think this was a king and a queen was an option, which is odd, but I think that's what I saw. But, yeah. you know, I saw some weird things, so who yeah. knows? Somebody, some people want more walking space around their bed and they're not yeah. real concerned about sleeping space. Yeah. There was USB outlets on the side of the beds, and if you need to plug your phone in or whatever. It's... The door's on the other side. There you go, sweetheart, right there. Big old barn door. This thing is huge, but it's nice. Were it... you being condescending? No, sweetie. <laughs> wow. It's okay, honey. I like that they put the track on the bottom of this barn door. It it helps out because that upper track is functional, but if the door is allowed to bounce around, it pops out of that, that, that track. That thing bounces around scene. in a camper. It's not like you drive it down the road. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you sound like a manufacturer. <laughs> <coughs> You got the skylight that you can cover. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Because yes. you can get very hot in the south when you're taking a shower and with the skylight. A little bit of storage there beside the shower. I really like that, actually, in the shower. Because usually you can yeah, cover no, it in the shower. I, 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 and Tiffin's been doing that for, for mm -hmm. a while now. Uh, Tiffin's got some really good ideas and when it, it's like they listen to people really I mean it really is like yeah. maybe they camp themselves or something <laughs> well, no <laughs> what a novel idea no <laughs> look at all that space back there to put your stuff uh -huh. in. we have a pedestal sink so I, just, <clears throat> I I always am excited about space around the the sink nice little spot to put your laundry detergent stuff right there underneath the washer and dryer you know just kind of an organizational mm -hmm. type of thing and it's a stacked washer and dryer so you have both plenty of hanging storage right through there and tiffin's been doing that hamper drawer for quite a few years too very cool put a trash bag in there uh, the ceiling fan in the bedroom is something else that Tiffin does. I really like that, but I also wonder how well it, how long it works, because it's rattling. Well, I, w I wonder how effective it is, because when you install a ceiling fan at the house, there's a, uh, um, like a minimum distance from the ceiling that the ceiling fan needs to be uh, in order to, to be effective. Mm -hmm. And it sure may to be, work some, but... Oh, I, I'm sure it's just fine in here. Yeah. I'm just always curious about little things like that. Yeah. Nice, wide, open floor space. Uh, is, just can't say enough about that. Yeah. But that was the 2019 Tiffin Allegro Open Road 36 UA. It's nice. I'm curious if you have a fan or if you've had a fan in your camper above your bed, does it? How effective is it? I'm curious. Yeah. Leave Let a comment know. down below. Let us know what you think. Anyway. That's how we learn stuff for future videos that we could say, somebody told us. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't checked out the rest of the content on 54 Nights RV, take a few moments to do so. We have over 100 walkthrough videos. We have RV adventures, RV tips and tricks. And we just like to have fun. We do. We'll catch you all down the trail. Bye-bye.